Hey guys, it's Ashley and today I have for you a stamping plate review slash um, swatches and first impression. I have never purchased any Uber Cheek stamping plates before, but because they were having a Black Friday sale, I went ahead and caved and I purchased three sets and then this single plate which I've been eyeing forever because I love the little Cinderella and then Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. It's just a beautiful plate. I love the fairy tale designs. I don't have a ruler or I would measure them for you, but here's the Moe London plate in its sleeve. And as you can see, you've got quite a bit more room. I just, the images are really fairly large. They'll definitely cover my nails, which are kind of long right now. So let me take the blue film off. Okay, so right off the bat I noticed that it's kind of scratched up underneath, not terribly bad and I know they won't affect the images, it's just, I just don't like scratches on my plates when they're brand new. I was thinking since these plates are normally, like this plate right here is normally $14.99, so I would expect for a plate to be that expensive for it to come with little to no scratches on it, not scratches all over the surface of almost the whole plate. But let's get into the swatches and see how well the images pick up. I'm going to be using my Moe London Stamper, it's my Sticky Marshmallow, and I will be using Born Pretty Store stamping polishes for swatching. The first swatch I'm going to do is of this beautiful fairy right here. And she picks up perfectly. I probably should have given her a little bit more polish, but she still stamped really pretty. The next image I'm going to do is of this really pretty intricate tree design. And it picks up perfectly. Just look at all these details in the image. I know I used a glittery polish so it's kind of hard to see. And now I'm going to stamp this castle scene. Oh my gosh, look at the beautiful details on this image. It looks like something out of a picture book. And next I'm going to do kind of a marbling effect with the leaves. And they pick up and transfer beautifully. I'm going to try to stamp these words because I know words sometimes are hard to get perfect. And look at that, they are beautiful. And I'm going to add this shoe in there with the words because I had a little bit of extra room. And the last image I'm going to swatch is of this clock mixed in these intricate vines. Look at that. Such a gorgeous image. And there are my swatches. I hope you enjoyed them. All in all, I give this stamping plate a big thumbs up. I love the images and they pick up gorgeously. Also, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Bye guys.
Thanks for watching.